Okay, cool. So what's your name? My name is Joe Stevens. Okay, and how come you're here at Bar Whatever tonight? I was honored to perform at, at Bar Whatever tonight. I met um, Ingo at the Squat Scottish Queer Film Festival. The documentary Real Boy that I was in was featuring there, and Ingo asked me to come down and play. And it was yeah, because great. you did a little live gig there. So, I did. yeah. No, but that is brilliant, and I'm so pleased you could make it and that, and that you had planned being in London, especially over a Tuesday. So, yes. thank you so much mm -hmm. for taking your time to be here with us. I was really impressed by the film, Real Boy. So first of all, congratulations Thank to you. winning the best feature at Iris uh, 2016, Iris yeah, yes. Iris Prize, which is pretty amazing. But also, one thing that I thought I wanted to talk to you about is your role as a mentor or a, dare I say, elder or someone that sort of like had gone through things and then helping someone else. So. You on stage mentioned that a little bit. Was that kind of like almost organically happening because you like Ben and thought I can help him? Very much so. Yeah. Very so, so is he kind of like, <laughs> is he the first sort of young trans person you have sort of like reached out and helped or felt like you could help? He's not the first, but he was one of the first that I was able to spend a lot more time with and that he came and lived with me and we traveled a bunch together and he's one of the few um, songwriters. So we were able to make some music together and you know, when I was a young queer person, somebody, you know, there was, the, the head of the dorm parent at the boarding school that I went to was a lesbian and she took care of me okay. and she showed me that it was okay to grow up and be a queer person and she made sure I didn't get kicked out of school <laughs> and you know so somebody did it for me and it was it just seemed natural to to, to help the next folks that that came along my way yeah because I think that is one of the really really not f forgotten, but as families and chosen families, we have to look out for each other. And I think it's really so heartwarming to see the impact we have on each other's lives. Because of course it is a two-way thing. Right. And in the film, we right. see how Ben is also helping you or reaching mm -hmm. out or you know looking after you in the sense of checking in on you. Mm -hmm. Because that is what we do with That's family, isn't it? Yeah. And I think that was really beautifully sort of like shown in the film. Yeah. So I definitely recommend everyone to see the film. If you haven't seen Real Boy, go and see Real Boy. But I, I kind of like that, that you were so honest with yourself. So did you have a good time and uh, was it hard for you to be so honest with yourself? It's, it kind of strangely comes naturally to me. I can't... I just have to talk about serious things. <laughs> um, that's sort of the way I'm wired, but it... Um, the film happens strangely organically. Like we met the 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 director, and she um, the cameras just sort of started rolling, and we just sort of lived our lives. And, and um, so it it was kind of a surprise that four years later it turned into this documentary, and I find myself here yeah. doing these things. So um, yeah, but I don't I, hold yeah. back. <laughs> Cool. But are you okay to talk about your uh -huh. addiction? Yeah. yeah. Because I think that is also something that we sometimes shy away from in this community. That we're all kind of like having, you know, a lot of other extra things added to our lives and things like that. And how we look after each other and how we find space right. and place where, you know, our drink and our drugs or things like that becoming the most important thing. Right. So it's, It can be such a trap for, for anybody really, yeah. but particularly sensitive already queers you know it's it's um when you feel things so deeply sometimes it's really difficult to not want to find something to help to help balance that out a little bit yeah yeah um for me it was a it was a real trap and i went through some really rough years particularly before my transition but i also found that my transition did not fix all my problems no. and um you know the drugs and the drinking were still there yeah and um the the path that I had worn was still just as deep and yeah. you know it was kind of being there for other people and showing up in Ben's life and you know being trying to stay present in my community that kept me afloat yeah um, and you know. and any advice that is someone that's watching this film on YouTube or Facebook 
if they feel a little bit trapped or feel sort of like trapped in a rut yeah. and thinking you know being queer is also equal you know right. feeling miserable or you know like luckily you know, it's, suffering yeah being a, being queer or being an artist is not a, a life sentence to misery or or tragedy in fact quite the opposite you have to take the steps on that path I would say reach out to the community that's around you and be open-minded about who that is. Yeah. You never know when you're where or who your mentors are going to be or where they're going to come from. That is um, true. I think that is really, yeah. Reach out. Reach be out. Be honest. Be you know Talk asking people, for help. Ask for help. Yeah. Because somebody will be there. Yeah. Somebody has been where you are. Yeah. And they will, it will help them to help you. Yeah. And then you can help them back. Yes. When they need help. So I think that is such a beautiful circle of life mm -hmm. because that is what we try to do here at Bar Whatever. It is that reaching out and sometimes, you know, when we are on stage, we can both be most us, but that whole thing of as well, it's a lecture in how actually to survive sometimes. Right. We talk very much about mental health. We talk very much about addiction. We talk very much about, you know, transitioning, not only through gender or sexuality, but also we're moving on by education or, you know, different languages or, you know, we're moving between countries. So life is full of opportunities. It to, is. It's true. To it is. Transition, and we all need we all need our people. Yeah. So what do you have lined up now? What do you have in the pipeline? I am going to work on another album over the winter. Um, and I'm also writing a musical, which is exciting. I've been hired to write the songs. The script is already written. It's about um, a historical character who was female-bodied and enlisted in the American Civil War as male. His name was Albert Cashier. And it's going to be like an Americana musical. And we're hoping to get it on stage by the end of next summer. Cool. So there's some time, but there's a lot to do. Yeah. So. And is that a special interest of yours to kind of finding these stories about I love kind of trans history. people or yeah. people who have gone through before by sort of just pure survival as well? Pure sometimes? survival and it shows it shows the tenacity of your yeah. folks and it shows that we've always been here. Absolutely. You know, coming Absolutely. out as a it was it was so meaningful to me to find actual historical yeah. evidence of, yeah. of our existence. That's a brilliant. Really so. looking forward to see the musical. Yeah. And Joe, it has been a fucking pleasure to have you here tonight with us. And I think you have my gosh, I could see the eyes of the you know, the young ones sitting in the front row just lapping it up. Uh, so thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much. You're for reaching having. very far. Thank I you. Will see you next time. Yes, absolutely.